Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to focus on uh, folding. Okay, So we're on the chapter of folding, folding and doming. We're going to focus on folding. So the first thing we're going to do is a uh, definition for folding. And folding is when rock structures rock structures that were once like uh, flat they actually then buckle at destructive plate boundaries so because of all the pressure that's at destructive plate boundaries on the on the rock structures it actually causes the the plate uh, it causes the rock to buckle and that is what folding is one thing to note that is that most folding is caused uh, caused by horizontal compression of the earth's crust so horizontal horizontal compression so like we said we talked in the other video compression is like the squeezing of the rocks compression of the earth's crust A uh, key thing to note that is um, large scale folding is responsible for the highest mountains in the world. So, which the mountain range, the Himalayas, we've got Mount Everest. They were caused to uplift uh, because of the com horizontal compression. And they uplifted as the Indian plate converged with the Eurasian plate and then forms the Himalayas, which we have uh, Mount Everest in the highest mountain in the world. Okay, so I've drawn a little diagram down here, um, which shows you parts of the folds, um, and it shows you like what what actually happens during the folding. So you got the compression because imagine that these are two plate boundaries, um, push these are the plate boundaries pu pushing together, and you get the horizontal compression where the where you see here the the rock is actually like squeezed together. Okay, and this forms uh, some unique features that you need to know. Okay, so the first part is the anti uh, the, the anticline. Is the anticline, and this anticline is the is the the upfold is the top part of the actual fold. Also, what you have is uh, the syncline. So the bottom part um, is known as the syncline. So syncline, and that's the that's a downward. Um, like folds, so it's the right at the bottom, it's the downward fold or the, like the hollow in between the, the anticlines. So, here again, would, that would be another uh, syncline. And then, in between that, what you have at this point here, at this point here, is known as the limb. Okay, so just that point there. Okay, so the limb is, is this point here, and it'd be that point there, and it'd be that point here. So it's the side of the fold. And they're just important uh, parts of the folds of the folding that you need to actually know, okay? One thing to note is the effects of this actu actual folding from uh, on, on destructive plate boundaries depend on two things. The first one is the force. So the more force that's exerted on the, on the rocks, uh, the, the more folding that will take place. And the second one, the second thing, is uh, the characteristics of the rocks. So I'll just say characteristics. Characteristics of the rocks. So, for example, the hardness of the rocks. If the rock is really, really hard, well, then there'll be less uh, folding. And if the rocks are soft, um, then the ro there'll be more uh, folding. So they're just two, what actually affects the folds. So it does actually depend on these two characters, the force, the intensity of the folding, and the characteristics of the rocks. So that's it for today's tutorial where we uh, had a little introduction to the folding and we looked at some of the key parts. If you enjoyed the tutorial, you can leave me some feedback um, on our Twitter page, Facebook page, and uh, Instagram. Make sure to follow our social media accounts to keep up to date with all our latest news. And check out more of our videos on our website, examvision.e. Thanks, guys.